Well, we got some breaking news happening right now. I got big, sexy Brandon Overton and Brandon. The announcement came out today that you're going to be hooked up with a pretty good NASCAR driver. or He's hooking up with you or vice versa, whatever you want to say or however, however you want to say it. Uh, Kyle Bush, Rowdy, is going to be driving uh, one of your Wells cars during the Kyle Larson race on April 6th at Bulls Gap, just first and foremost. How surreal is it that one of the greatest NASCAR drivers of all time is hooking up with you and uh, kind of go dirt track racing at the Larson event coming up? Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely cool. You know, uh, you know how it is. You grow up watching all these guys, and uh, you know I've never met him, so excited for that. And uh, I've watched him, you know, pretty much my my whole life. So uh, yeah, for to say, you know, he's going to be driving one of my race cars. Um, you know, it's kind of. I think I'm going to be more nervous uh, watching him than I am, you know, me racing out there. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be pretty neat. We're just going to try to give him a good out ride. How the hell did you guys get hooked up with uh, KB and uh, Overton Racing and, you know, Wells Racing? Yeah, just uh, mutual friends, just buddies. Just uh, <laughs> I said they called me up and, uh, you know, asked me about doing it or whatever. And we got so much racing coming up, I, I really wasn't sure, you know, um, but, you know, luckily we've been getting rained out here left and right. So, uh, say some laps on our engines and uh, I think we can squeeze it in. And just a guy of that magnitude in racing, uh, NASCAR champion has plenty of, I think he has 200 wins in all, you know, disciplines, truck, Bush and NASCAR. That's got to be pretty cool. Just from a kid from Georgia, we've talked plenty of times on Suave Talk and you're just saying like, you know, this poor kid from Georgia, just starting from, you know, from the bottom to to be able to kind of be like a screw chief and uh, kind of help them throughout the night. That'll be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, it is. Like I said, I'm looking forward to getting to meeting him. And, uh, you know, like I said, I think more, more – I'm more nervous probably than he is. But, uh, like I said, I watched him. I watched him go around Bristol, and, hell, he's fine. You know, obviously, uh, there's a reason he races on Sunday. So, not really worried about that. I just want to give him a good piece and and uh, make sure he enjoys it and has fun. And, and you know, obviously, my sponsors are excited about it, you know, uh, that's the big thing for me. A lot of people in my town, you know, uh, they're going to see it and, and, you know, it's just, it's good for everybody. You know, like I said, um, I still, like I said earlier, I'm, I think I'm more stuff's going through my brain right now, just making sure I don't want to get out there and he like, damn, this thing's slow or whatever. So I just been thinking about that. Like I said, uh, we're going to go try to go try to test a little bit before we go, make sure we got him a good car. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, I don't get to, don't get to work with, to you know, I mean, you're always around the same people. So to to get around him and, and see how what he says or describes the car, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, he's a former prelude champion with Bloomquist, right? So you, you have a pretty good uh guy and a history of a, a driver that's raced a du- super late model. Yeah, I keep up with him. I you know, I watch his kid all the time. I go to Millbridge every now and then and watch him and keep up with him on the internet and I always see him in the micros and and you know, obviously on Sunday I get to watch him, but uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't think he's gonna have a problem going around there. If he went around Bristol, surely he can go around Bulls Gap. And he went around Eldora. He won the champ. He won it. Yeah. Back in the and, day with, and, I mean, I, you're pretty much the Scott Bloomquist because Bloomer was his crew chief when he won the prelude. So now it's gonna be uh, you're gonna be passed on the torch to help him, you know, succeed against you and the the other drivers that weekend or that week. Yeah, like I said, no pressure, right? Uh, <laughs> no, no pressure I, at all. Yeah, it's it'll be okay. I just um. Like I said, I'm, I want to make sure that – obviously, I watched that. I remember when all that deal went down. So, yeah, we got uh, got some high standards to, to hold up to. All right, so you're winning. He's in second, vice versa. Maybe he's winning. Are you going to throw a slider for the win? Or are you going to just – you can't – come on, this isn't this isn't a charity event. you got to still want to win 20K. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> I don't, Hell, if we're both up front, I'll, I'll take that. I kind of – um. Like I said, if if we get him in the race and he and he does good, it's it's a win for everybody. You know, he gets to show all the asphalt buddies. You know, Kyle's not the only one that can drive a dirt car. And uh, uh, yeah, like I said, it's it's uh it's gonna be cool. Can't wait for it. Um, just trying to get everything prepared. Are you gonna thank Kyle Larson too, just because he mentioned your name during the NASCAR press conference, million to win? So Bush is like, damn, well this guy's the hot rod. We gotta. You know, let's give him a phone call. We got some mutual friends. Maybe he can hook us up. So, really, we got to thank Larson for this, right? <laughs> yeah, we do. He uh, honestly, yeah, it's actually one of his buddies that called me. You know, I met I met Greg through through Kyle. So, yeah, just um, it's crazy how the world works. You know, um, you you meet all these different people that got all these different backgrounds, and and they're all tied together somehow. But I said it's going to be good for the sport, good for good for everybody. All the fans come out and see him, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Elaborate on that last question. 
how good it is for dirt track racing to get the asphalt guys involved. Obviously, Larson, since 2020, has definitely closed the gap a little bit where dirt fans are watching NASCAR and NASCAR fans are watching dirt. When you have more eyes on it, it just makes it better, no doubt about it. Yeah, it does. It's huge. I mean, obviously, you see uh, Tyler Carpenter's driving a truck and, and JD's driving a car, you know. Um, <laughs> so, the like I said, it's the – Kyle's honestly brought a lot of people. I've met so many people just from being around him the last couple of years, you know? Uh, so like I said, the more people that watch it and get, we all get intertwined. We all start keeping, I've watched so many sprint car races and midget races, you know, uh, just trying to keep up with everybody and watch every form of motorsports pretty much. I even, I said like some of the drag racers, you know, that I, that live in this town, I've talked to people, um, you know, they start watching the dirt race. Just, it's crazy. Like how much flow and, and Kyle has done for, for the motorsports industry pretty much well a little kid from georgia is uh going to be racing with kyle bush april 6th at the kyle larson uh late model event at volunteer bulls gap april 6th once again it'll be live and flow racing a uh, pretty cool opportunity that you'll be uh helping kyle bush will be driving one of your wells race cars uh, is he gonna be number 76 b or how's that gonna work or is he gonna also give you an opportunity to drive one of his cars in a, an asphalt race or something i mean that yeah only fair yeah that's <laughs> Yeah, that's only only fair. I let him drive my car. He's gonna let me drive his. All right, Brandon. Um, no, oh, go I ahead, think go ahead. He, they're pretty simple, man. He told me, uh, or they told me, just put a put a seventy six B on it, and uh, we'll let him rip. Like I said, I'm I'm excited about it, more nervous than anything, but I'm looking forward to it. And I I almost wish it was somewhere besides Bulls Gap. You know, like why couldn't we do it at Eldora again? But <laughs> like I said, it's uh it's awesome. It's a cool opportunity, and I'm looking forward to it. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, good luck at the Kyle Larson race. Don't let the NASCAR guys. Show us up a little bit. That's right.